Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm going to show you some different ways that you can layer your FM pair oscillators in Thor. It's going to be another Thor tutorial and uh, this is kind of the sound that we're going for. Um, let me just open up my... There we go. So there's a lot that you can do with FM, and um, basically I'll, I'll show you the way that I set this up. Um, let's just first mute that. Let's create a combinator. Inside the combinator I'm going to create a 6 to 2 mixer, and there I'm going to create a Thor. Let's open up the Thor. First thing we're going to do is select an FM pair. In the second slot we're going to do another FM pair. Um, I'm going to pull the envelope down on the low pass ladder filter. I'm going to leave everything else the same here. Um, I'm going to increase the amp envelope a little bit, increase the release quite a bit, and increase the sustain quite a bit. So then when you play it, you're going to get that kind of slow release. Slightly slow attack and, and a fairly, fairly slow release. And the sustain is going to be pulled all the way up so that we keep the, the sound the same throughout. So once this is set up, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start to program. Start on a first one here. Uh, for rotary one, we're going to have this be the FM amount. And in order to do that, we have two, two oscillators here. So you're going to have to take the rotary one twice you're going to have to send both of those to the uh, FM, uh, which is the oscillator 1 mod, and then we're going to do the oscillator 2 mod as well. So that sets up the FM amount to be played with, and you can see both of these knobs turning. Okay, so once we've got the FM, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to take this, and this is going to be just refer back to my old file that's right this is going to be the mixer so this is going to be the oscillator one and two mix and we'll get to that in a minute um, rotary three is going to be the detune and the way we do the detune factor is we have to take two instances of rotary three first one is going to be oscillator one tune and the second one is going to be oscillator 2 tune and then one of them is going to go um, minus 12 around minus 12 to 12 uh, if I can get it the second one is going to be 12 the opposite of the first one so you got 12 to minus 12 Okay, so what that does, if you look at these two tune knobs, what that's going to do is when you move them, they're going to go in opposite directions, and it's going to give you that detuned sound. So we'll just keep that detuned a little bit. Uh, rotary 4, I'm going to leave that for the reverb, and I'll get to that a little later as well. Um, button 1 is going to double the mod. And button two is going to double the carrier. And what happens is when you're using FM, an FM pair oscillator, if you keep things, if you keep the modulate the modulator in the same um, interval as the carrier. So if you're going to do, let's say, two, you want to keep this at four, or you want to keep it at six, or even eight, and that's going to create. Um, even harmonics, okay? If you do it at like a, a 9, 
it's going to create odd harmonics and you don't you may want that that might be something you want but uh, for this type of harmony we want to keep everything very very harmonic so that you can play chords you can do all kinds of interesting things without it sounding um, kind of grating on your nerves so we're going to keep this as one and one for both of these um, and actually let's keep it one and two for this just to show you the difference we'll do it one and two so button one is going to double the mod so what we're going to do is we're going to take the oscillator and we're going to send this to the FM pair modulator and button two is going to be the FM pair carrier okay and what you want is you want the carriers at one okay and you want to actually let's keep both of these at one just to show you what I'm going to do here so we'll keep these at one for right now but we want these to double to two so what, what I'm going to do is on the modulator I'm going to do one to two and the FM pair carrier I'm going to do one to two as well okay so when you click on double mod it's going to duplicate the mod here and it's going to duplicate the carrier here. Now we've got to also do this on the other oscillator as well. So we're going to take button one and button two again. Button one, button two, and this one is going to be the number two FM pair modulator and FM pair carrier. And same thing, it's going to be one and two. And by doing this, we can definitely get some different types of um, modulations. You can up the carrier, but not the modulator, so that you've got it two to one. Or you can do it the other way around, and you can do it like this, so it's one to two. And that's what these two buttons are going to do for us. Now, button three is going to be our double pair. What this is going to do... Let's just take button three instance. What this is going to do is it's going to go into the mixer and you're going to do oscillator two to filter one enable. And that's going to put this little two button on and off. So you can have it um, so that it's only one oscillator that's being rooted through uh, the combinator, or you can turn it on and you get the effect of both of these oscillators going through. Okay, that's what that one's going to do. And then finally, we're going to have a chorus button just to round out the sound and that's going to be on button four we're going to go into the effects it's going to be the chorus dry wet it's going to be zero minimum and 60 maximum okay and that's going to be your chorus button and you're going to have to keep this on by the way okay so turn that little chorus button on and then it's going to go from zero to 60 on the dry wet and we can hear the effect of it Now the level is going to be a little high, so what we're going to do is we're going to hold the shift key down and bring this down to 80. If I can get it. There we go. Bring that down to 80. Bring the gain knob down slightly so that it's about nine minus nine decibels. And then the master volume, we're going to bring that down to minus three. Okay, so now when we play it. Sounds a little better, okay? Um, now, the oscillator 1 to 2 mix and the reverb knob are not set up yet. I'm going to set that up in a following tutorial. For right now, this is, this is what I've got going on, and I uh, hope you like it so far. Uh, stay with me. In the next tutorial, I'll get to rooting some more of this so that we can actually create lots of layers and lots of interest to the actual sound. Thanks. I'm Rob, and uh, come visit me at reason101.net.